Okay, this is a quick video for Little Grog over on Reddit who's posted this question about network printer sharing. Uh, this is a test also of my new recording setup, so forgive me if there's any errors. Also, if you hear the cat singing to itself in the background. So, essentially the problem seems to be you've got computer A with several printers connected and you need to print from computer B. Um, you've tried several things and it's all not working. Can be a bit of a headache, can be a bit of a pain, but here's a solution that may or may not fix it for you. So what you're going to want to do on computer A where you've got the printers shared from is click on the start button and type run or you can press Windows and R will do the same thing and in here you're going to want to start uh, type sorry control user passwords with an S number two. This will bring up the old style user management uh, now I'm showing you this all on the same computer, but this is done on computer A where you want where you've got the printers on. And you're going to add a new user, choose a local account, and their local account, give it a name. So I'm going to call mine printer user. I'm going to give the password just as printer printer. I suggest you use something a little bit more secure. Um, secret stuff. Create the account. That's fine. Now over on the, again on your machine, your machine A, make sure those printers are shared. You seem to suggest that you've already done that. You've gone through and shared them all. So now on computer B where you want to access the printers, all you need to do is click on the Windows logo, type CMD or command prompt. And in here you're going to type net use and you need the IP address of computer A where the machines are hosted. If you don't know how to get the IP address, again, go in at command prompt and type IP config. This will give you your IP address as it's listed here. It'll be different to that. Then you're gonna type, so do that on computer A, it's computer A's IP address you need. Now you're gonna type net use, net space use space, backslash, backslash, and the IP address of computer A. So in my case, I do have another machine. I just can't record both screens. And it's on 219. You're going to put another space and put forward slash u for user. Now you're going to put in your user account, which let me just remind myself what I've set mine up on the other is printer user. So my user account I created was called printer user. And then whatever your password was, you should get a command saying command completed successfully. If you're not getting that, make sure you've disabled any firewalls, any. Anti, not antivirus, you don't need to disable antivirus, but if you have an antivirus with a firewall built in, make sure you've disabled that. It could be blocking it. If you get anything like error 53, it's typically a sign of a firewall blocking it. But if you get command completed successfully, that's good. Essentially what you've done is created a network connection between this machine and the machine where you're sharing the printers. Once you've got that done, you can close the command prompt. Again, you can click start and run, or start uh, Windows and the R key. And in here now, you're just going to put in the IP address of that machine. What you should get is any shared drives, any shared printers. And then in this example, I've got a test printer set up and I'm just going to right click and choose connect. It might ask you for the username again, which in my case was printer underscore test and printer. Now, I don't think I actually fully shared this on my other machine. Uh, printer properties, sharing. Mm. Yeah, it's not going to connect because I don't actually have a printer to share. But that should be all you need to do. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's not It's not going to connect on mine because I don't actually have a printer. I just set up a fake printer. But that should be all you need. As long as you then have those credentials remembered, which you can check again by... Net use will show you that you've got a remembered connection. You should be good to go. Any problems, give me a shout back.